In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from the Pure Maths Paper 3, specifically Paper 3.1 from Cambridge A-Level exams from 2024. If you're looking for any other question from this paper, you should find a playlist in the description below. And if you're looking for any other paper, look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing. But of course, this is in the classroom, we're on YouTube, so go ahead and take advantage of that. Pause, rewind, watch at 2x speed, whatever you find useful. If you find any of my videos useful, uh, I would appreciate like, subscribe, or sharing it with someone else doing the A-level exams. Question eight is a difficult question, but it's simple in what they're asking us. They're asking us to do this integration. They do give us a hint or two, um, because integration with, um, with trigonometry and all, all often involves substitution. And it's, it can be really difficult to figure out uh, what do you put in as your substitution, because some things later cancel out and all. They have been nice to us. They've told us uh, to use a substitution. So we think we, it'll probably work. U is equal to one minus sine X. So basically, if we replace, uh, well, this here with a U, we, we, we sort of have to trust that, that something will happen to cancel out the rest of the X's in it, or maybe replace them with U's. That's usually what happens. It's a bit difficult. I'll show you when it happens in this. Um, but really, we're just gonna substitute this in. We're gonna do a long and difficult uh, integration question. So, <laughs> so get ready for that. Um, first thing, let's do a bit of the substitution. Um, let's do it over, as far over as we can to leave more room. Uh, we always want to basically differentiate u because we have a dx and we want to replace it with a du. So we'd get du dx is equal, um, the derivative of sine is cosine, so it's a minus cosine just. And um, usually we want to replace dx, so we rearrange this so it gets dx on its own and that would equal du divided by minus cosine x. Okay, that's, once we replace this, we'll end up with a cosine. And that's, it's a bit messy because there's, there's no sine in there. So I'm already thinking ahead that, oh, that's a bit difficult. Um, also, we can rewrite this. Let's try rewrite it over here. This will become um, the square root of u on the bottom. But what about the top? I could rearrange this here to be uh, maybe sine x is equal to one minus u. That could be useful, but that's not sine x, it's sine two x. So I'm, I'm a bit stuck here. Um, the trick is, if I just rub this out, again, I'll do the trick over here, I guess. The trick is to know, we know things about sine two x. Sine two x, uh, it's given in our uh, formula table, our list of formulae. Um, sine 2x is equal, I'll just double check, I get them right, is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. Now at this point, when I see that, it all starts clicking a little bit. Sine x, I know how to replace sine x with u. That's easy. Cosine x, ah, I, I, I already see that's going to cancel later on in the question. So that's it, that's the, all the tricks we needed. Um, I guess they gave you the first trick. And we're going to need this. And I guess you could say later on to replace that, I need this trick. That, that's all the tricks. The rest is just going to be long, messy maths. So let's get into it. Uh, let's rewrite this equation. Uh, the integral of, instead of sine 2x, I'll write 2. And instead of sine x, I'm going to write this guy. 1 minus u uh, cosine x all over... Instead of um, one minus sine x, I'll put u in, obviously. Instead of square root, I'll actually write in a half. I, I hate using square roots in integration and differentiation. I'll use a half. Instead of dx, I will use du divided by minus cosine x. Okay, um, and oh, one last thing. What numbers go here? You can leave this blank until the very end and change everything back into x and put these numbers in. That's, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is we'll stay doing the rest of the, I'll do this, this is the way I'll do it. I'll keep you, uh, all the, these, this cosine cancels by the way. I'll keep all these u's in the question and I'll never use these guys again. I'll make up new numbers. So how do I do that? Uh, I'll do it over here. 
x is equal to pi from here but uh, u is equal to 1 minus so sine of uh, sine of pi sine of pi is 0 so u is equal to 0 instead of x of pi u is 0 instead of x being pi u is 0 is that correct that's not right i should have a 1 i'm sorry sine sine pi is 0 1 minus 0 is is 1 so this this should be a, a 1 here. I'll hold my notes for the next part so I don't make a silly mistake. Uh, when x is equal 3 over 2 pi, u will equal 1 minus sine 3 over 2 pi, which is equal to uh, 2. And I'll put a, a 2 in here. Uh, the reason I think 0 was on my mind, uh, I had a quick look at the marking scheme at the end, see if I got the answer right. And they seem to say 0 and 2. I think they're wrong. I think they've just made a mistake. Uh, but let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, I do the rest of the question with 1 and 2. Yeah, and if I get the right answer in the end. So I think they've just made a mistake in the marks here. OK, let's clean all this up. This is a bit of a mess here. We already divided the cosines. Uh, the minus can come all the way outside. That's just minus 1 now. Divide by minus 1. The 2 can come all the way outside. So we get minus 2. This minus and this two. Um, we can separate this out into two fra uh, fractions. Um, this goes between two and one. And uh, one divided by square root uh, u square. One divided by the square root of u. Or I can write that as u to the power of minus a half. Okay, so I'm going to bring it up, up a power, up uh, to the denominator. And then uh, minus u divided by u to the power of a half is just u to the power of a half. And you see that goes into that, u to the power of a half times the u. Okay, so instead of this big mess of a question, we have this fa two fairly simple integration questions. So I'll do one, I'll do this integration next. I'll, that'll be minus two multiplied by, what's the integral of this? We add one onto the power, so that becomes u to the power of a half, and then we divide by the new power. Uh, divide by a half is like multiplying by two. Um, minus, we add 1 onto this, that's u to the power of 3 over 2. Divide by 3 over 2, it's like multiplying by 2 over 3. And we still need to evaluate this between 1 and 2. I'll do that uh, in this area here. Okay, so this is equal, again, minus 2 is left alone. Multiplied by, I'm going to fill in 2 first. So that's 2 square root 2 minus um, 2 over 3. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So that's a square root 8, or 2 square root 2, which hopefully is also clear from there. Um, minus, I'm going to fill 1 in now, minus 2 multiplied by square root 1 is 2. Minus, minus, when I put 1 in, is plus 2 over 3. Okay, let's clean up everything in the side. Let me, yeah, instead of square root of 8, let's put in 2 square root 2. Same thing. Yeah, that's a big 2, by the way. A big 2 there. Um, okay, well, how many square root 2s do we have? We have 2 square root 2s. Take away 4 over 3. This 2 by 2 is a 4. 4 over 3 square root 2s. So that leaves, um, if I'm right, a 2 over 3 square root of 2s. With minus 2 outside still. And uh, what about just the whole numbers? A uh, minus two plus uh, two over three, that is, leaves minus four over three, if I'm correct. Multiply minus two into both of them. We'll put the positive number first, so minus by minus gets uh, eight over three. And um, multiply this in, we get minus four over three, square root two. Um, very messy, these questions, so let me just double check that is the correct answer. Uh, yeah, that's the answer I got, and I checked with the marking scheme. A um, couple of things you could have done different. You could have got all the way down to this line here, and instead of 1, 2, you could have replaced u back with sine 1 minus sine x. Put that in there, put it in here, and kept these two numbers. It would have just mess made the end a little messier. You would have got different parts here, but um, after a few, after a while, you would have got out to something like this, something like this. You would have got out to 
uh, the same final answer. Um, let me know if I made any mistakes there. Let me know if I didn't explain something that well. If you have any follow-up questions, I'll do my best to answer. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.